Well, a very good morning to you. Is it morning time? It's just three minutes after noon here in central Scotland and the cloud cover is quite thick, but we are starting to see uh, pockets of sunshine starting to um, work its way through the cloud cover. So it's not a bad day here across central Scotland and across the board we've got a generally overcast picture across the British Isles. That will set the scene for tomorrow which will be a wet and windy day across the British Isles in Ireland. We've got an area of an Icelandic low pressure that's going to feed a, a frontal boundary through the British Isles in Ireland and associated with that boundary will come an organised band of heavy rain and that will work its way right through the British Isles over the next 36 to 48 hours. So a very different picture compared to what we've seen of late. We've been very dry, we've been high pressure dominated but certainly we are looking at a much more unsettled April and that really is a good thing folks. You know I know we're all complaining now about the fact that we're back to normal so to speak but certainly we need the the rainfall even across here in Scotland we've been pretty dry for the past few weeks we need some rainfall to replenish those soils and uh, certainly here in the British Isles you need that uh, that wet weather to make uh, all the the hills and the fields all beautifully green but certainly we of course we pride ourselves in our our landscape and of course when we don't have that rain it just doesn't look as flourishing as normal but anyway, that's a, a positive spin on things. Uh, but certainly hope you're having a good weekend and a good Easter weekend. Hope you're not eating too many Easter eggs. I'm not eating any today. I'm going for a meal this afternoon, so I'm going to be looking forward to that. But anyway, over the course of the upcoming week, we've got some uh, very changeable weather to take place here. We've got an area of troughiness going to sweep in. Here's the Icelandic area of low pressure that I'm talking about. That's going to feed that cold front in, bringing all the heavy rain, the wind as well, and it's going to be a pretty mucky day for sure for Easter Monday. But what I'm interested in looking at here, folks, is not just this upcoming week. Let's look at Wednesday. Yeah, we've got that trough right over the western part of, uh, of Europe, feeding in those showers and uh, that breezy conditions as well. We're going to have a few days, uh, you know, pockets of sunshine shine, rain, wind, it's just going to be a whole mixture of things, classic April weather here across the British Isles, but listen, let's have a look at the upcoming weekend, we've also got, the models are starting to pick up on another colder area of uh, weather starting to push in by the next weekend, we've got a push of cold air, once again going to try and work its way into the British Isles, you notice that the greens over there, just to the north of Scotland, we've got an area of blue colour showing up, that indicates more in the way of Arctic air once again, by Sunday you notice that it's starting to feed northerly winds from basically from East Greenland and, and even uh, Iceland down through the British Isles, that actually could indicate that we've got some winter weather, yeah, winter weather once again here across the UK, look at that there, the, the isobars, uh, this is of course the upper level uh, feed uh, moisture and uh, we, we could, if you get an area of low pressure that's attached to that northerly flow like we seen last week, we could actually see some low level snow once again, it's a little far out, we're talking about a good 7 uh, to eight days away so things can change but it certainly looks as if the models are, are catching on to yet another blast of winter weather so there's certainly a lot of things to look at we've got a very unsettled week ahead we're going to have a mixed bag of weather and uh, certainly we're going to keep an eye on next weekend it looks as if we could have some colder weather once again it's still April folks we've seen a glorious uh, month of March but yet it came too early uh, and uh, certainly that will not last long. It hasn't lasted long. We're, we're seeing a pretty dominated low pressure pattern over the next uh, month or so. And certainly the models are catching on to the persistency, the foreseeable future, so to speak. I think we're going to have an unsettled pattern. But keep checking back. Still early days. There's still a whole month, the whole summer season to come. So don't frown too quickly about the potential for colder weather next weekend. Have a great Easter weekend, folks. Bye-bye.